What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I'm very excited because I'm finally launching my office building in Revit course for producing all of the necessary project documentation. So uh, this is a course that they have started like a year ago and I have created like 12 hours of this course and now I'm updating it with a whole new uh, three hours to make it a complete package for my website uh, balkanarctic.com. You can find the link just in the description of this video. Uh, so this is a course. I, I had the idea to create a course where I'm going to take a fairly complex office building and then take you step by step uh, through modeling the whole building, uh, producing everything that you need, uh, both construction and architectural elements, then taking that and adding all of the necessary annotation, and finally extracting a lot of uh, important information out of that model. I show you how to create the schedules, uh, how to organize those schedules, and how to get all of that important data. And, and now I have decided to kind of update that course and make it a more of a complete package as I am uh, finally releasing it on my website where it's going to be available both part of a, uh, of a whole subscription package on my website as well as a one-time purchase uh, with the lifetime access to that course if that's something that you're interested in. So the whole course is now 15 hours long. I have added a whole segment where I show you how to create your custom title block, uh, how to place all of the views on that custom title block, how to add all of the elevations on those views, and just how to organize everything, how to create uh, legends, uh, and also something that uh, that I always wanted to do uh, is show you how to create a great presentation board. I have one tutorial here on YouTube. Uh, just on how to create uh, presentation boards, uh, but I had, I had a lot of uh, comments uh, saying that in the thumbnail I showed an image where it had kind of an inverted floor plan with white lines and a black background and it looked really cool, but it didn't show that in the actual uh, model. Uh, well, uh, that's because uh, at that time that would take uh, a bit too much time for a YouTube video, but this being a course, I had the extra time where I can show you step by step how to create this amazing presentation board for this building and uh, how can you just complete the whole uh, package, the whole presentation with, of course, all of the project documentation on additional sheets as well. So that's the whole course. Now I'm just going to be jumping quickly into Revit to show you uh, the whole building, everything that's going to be created, and of course, all of the project documentation. And uh, if you want to get the course, if you're interested, uh, check out the first link in the description there. You can uh, see that uh, course and you can get it, uh, as I said, both of, as part of the subscription package for the whole website, or as uh, just as a one-time purchase if you're just interested in that course. And if you're a member at my Patreon page, don't worry, uh, these, uh, this course or the remaining three parts or, or three hours of this course will be uploaded in the up and coming weeks, uh, one hour each week as usual. Okay, so now let's quickly jump into Revit. And here we are in Revit. As you can see, this is that office building. It's fairly complex. It's, uh, it has two floors uh, plus this entrance area, of course. Uh, so here is the lobby. And then on this side, we have a some sort of a shop that has a staircase that goes uh, even to the basement as well. Uh, so it has two floors. Uh, there are just pretty much the same floor uh, repeated twice and I show you how to uh, model out one complete floor with all of the construction, all of the uh, furniture, pretty much set everything up for just one floor and then you can easily copy that up and uh, don't have to go through the hassle of modeling everything uh, again and, and risking uh, making something different or making some mistakes. Uh, also, I show you how to do or how to model the kind of the surrounding of the building to create some nice presentation views, uh, nice site plans, etc. Uh, so here I'm going to open up the first level uh, detail annotation. So this is the one that we have with all of the annotation. This is the one without the annotation. Of course, in some cases you're going to want to have a clean floor floor plan like this, uh, especially for client presentations, etc. Uh, but this one is uh, the, the important one with the, that has all of the info. As you can see, uh, next to just the regular annotations such as dimension lines and tags, etc. Uh, here we have added a lot of these detail elements, for example, to the walls. Here we have the uh, interior wall construction. Same thing goes here where we have the sticker wall and it also has that insulation batting line. Our Mali have a detailed profile. Uh, 
let's see here we have the elevator the bathroom with the bathroom stalls uh, a staircase with all of the numbering of the steps and everything and also show you how to make this custom nicer way of representing the kind of the split between the two stairs so uh, that's the that's the floor plan and here we can see the detail of the of the exterior wall and uh, so on. Uh, so that's the floor plan that we're creating. Also, we have a highly detailed section here. So let me see which one that is. I can. I think it's this one. Yeah. So as you can see here, we have a uh, quite detailed uh, section with all of the again the numbering for the the stairs, the uh, the stair runs. Here we have a very detailed construction here uh, with all of the. Uh, all of the, the the concrete beams that we have, the detailed floor layers, uh, which align perfectly with the mullions insulation added there as well here uh, too, and uh, you can see all of that uh, here. We can see the detail for our uh, for uh, just for for the bottom of the building, and uh, of course we do have an actual detail where we fix everything up and show what that would look like. So here we have the uh, if I just turn off the thin lines, yeah. So here we have the uh, insulation for uh, the, the the water, and then we have all the heat insulation, concrete uh, bricks on the outside and so on. So we have uh, a lot of these details. This one isn't the only one. We have this detail as well. I'll show you how to make this cool little annotation element uh, that's gonna list out the, uh, everything that's in the views. As you can see, even the floor is detailed with uh, kind of having that uh, individual wooden elements here and this element here as well. And also the construction that's holding the ceiling in place with all of these important elements that are included there. So I show you all of that. Uh, and also, if we go back to the section, not that one, this one. Also here for the roof, uh, I show you how to do all of that. So for example, here you can see how the uh, he, uh, the insulation wraps around that uh, top of the of the wall and then continues on on the flat roof, which of course isn't completely flat. It has it, it has to follow that uh, curve, of course, for drainage purposes. Here we have the anchors for the uh, aluminum facade on the outside, and so on. So everything is quite detailed. Everything uh, looks exactly how it should. Uh, so uh, also, let's see, we have the. Uh, we have the ceiling plan with the first level construction so that uh, so here we have just the ceiling plan and then this is what that looks with construction so i show you how to create this plan it's really important for the construction just to show where are the beams where is the kind of smaller beam system where are all of the thick concrete walls and all of that that is also of course quite important uh, we create some nice 3d views for renderings here we have another and also we have an interior view as well and then of course uh, here we have those uh, the renderings for the for those views uh, now uh, also here we have an area plan as well as a room plan so this is just the areas uh, then also we have a graphical columns uh, schedule we have a wall legend which will show you then how to use in the in the sheets also of course we have the the mullion schedule which calculates all of the mullions so this is quite a complex if we just go back to the 3d view should probably start closing these views because we don't really need them. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of these. Uh, as you can see, the, the modeling system is quite complex. I show you how to set it up so it looks like this, where we have reflective panels kind of blocking out the construction and the rest is opened up and just a glass panel. Uh, but uh, not only that, to show you how to make a calculation which calculates all of the necessary early panels or both panels and mullions for this curtain wall and then it also gives you an estimate in price. So if I open up that schedule here we have that mullion schedule as you can see it calculates the total which we have like 898 pieces of mullions uh, and the total length is this which is just a huge amount and then also we have a panel schedule here we have the uh, the panel schedule uh, also I show you how to create this cool customized uh, schedule which shows uh, for each panel like the the both dimensions so you can send that straight to the manufacturer and then you can have all of that also here we have the elevation panel schedule which shows you the, the whole surface of, of glass that's necessary 
Also here we have a room schedule just for level one. And then also here we have a room schedule that has been categorized by uh, levels. So here we have the underground levels, we have the ground levels, the first level, the second level, and then uh, it's of course uh, uh, spread out in such a way or organized such in a way where we have the office space and then store space and common areas, uh, etc. And then finally, I show you how to uh, place everything on sheets. So we have the detailed uh, sheet here, the detailed floor plan with the room schedule and the wall legend. We have the main section here with all of the details for that section. As you can see, all of these details are up here. Uh, next, we have the floor construction. Uh, we have all of the uh, elevations, so the, the view from all sides with those uh, schedules for our uh, curtain facade. And then also here we have this uh, uh, amazing presentation panel which shows the, 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 the kind of a cool way of representing the building with this cool inverted floor plan, which I thought was a cool touch just to add uh, to complete this whole uh, project. So there you go. That's that's the whole project. It's 15 hours long and it basically goes step by step explaining everything. Um, so, so you have a complete understanding on of how this complex project is modeled. So uh, check out the link in the description. The first link takes you to my website. Uh, there uh, you can find the uh, th there you can find the, the, the whole course. You can get it both as a one-time payment and then you get lifetime access or you can get a subscription to all of my courses and then this course will be uh, included. But of course that's either a monthly or an annual subscription depending on what you decide. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll be back with another tutorial in a few days. Have a nice day.